Hey Cancer, so welcome to your reading for the second half of May. <laughs> How the time's flying. I am trying to get as many readings out as possible as you guys know, um, simply because um, I don't really have the time, I'm not really in my own place, so I'm doing it as best as I can. So you may see uh, different styles of readings, right? Um, how I reach out and talk to you guys, because when I'm not doing it, I miss you guys. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm trying my best to get them out there as well. And of course, if you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. Uh, let's see what we have going on for you guys on the second half of May. Disruption. It's the tower, guys. Um, so some changes coming here in the second half of May. I'm not surprised. It will be a little bit chaotic towards the end of the month for everybody. Um, so expect some disruption at the end of the month there. Um, a lot of changes going on. Eight of Cups, emotional loss, so maybe having to walk away from more things um, or missing somebody there, uh, somebody missing you. Um, it could be that you go through a breakup and you start to miss somebody here. New beginnings, the full. You might just be redirecting your whole life here. Um, and the changes that come, you might be thinking, well, um, I don't really want to make these changes in my life. They are, you know, I'm comfortable with it. So you hold on to it. That's usually a tower moment when we're comfortable with something. We don't want that change to happen. Um, but usually, as we can see here, as you mourn the loss of whatever this is, new beginnings come in. It's going to really make huge shifts now um, and make space in your life for something worth having, right? For something that's going to replace what you feel you're losing, something better here will replace it. Control. And I guess the more you try to control and hold on to this tower moment, um, the harder it'll be. If we sort of release the energy and allow things to flow naturally, I see things going a lot smoother for, for you guys but if we hold on and try to control and control the damage control and stuff there um i don't really see it working out any different um just prolonging the inevitable so it's like maybe breaking up with somebody asking them to stay things like that and an ambulance just wants to pass right now while we've got a tower going on uh past life um so this could be somebody entering into your life of course <clears throat> with those new beginnings there i feel like um this could be some sort of past life karma that you're dealing with so having to really shake things up it's going to be a big shake up in your life here that's what we can say work so being more focused on work um because maybe you can control that really won't stop the other stuff happening Okay, so just be prepared for this. It doesn't mean you have to freak out. Uh, the whole point of towers is that this is happening for us to redirect us, um, not at us, right? It's not happening to us, it's happening for a reason here. Let's see. Tower again. So this is something major that's coming, that's going to happen here. The tower again is coming to really shake up your life. I feel like you probably must need this. Seven of Wands, you're gonna find challenges at the end of May. Like I said, most people will. Um, I feel like you're just trying to control the amount of damage that this does, um, but just let it flow. I see some emotional loss as well um, with this tower here. So yeah, you might be fighting for something or somebody that, you're losing some of you might lose a job another seven here seven of cups now um i don't think you see this coming at all it's going to bring a lot of confusion a lot of emotion to the surface um where you've been struggling and fighting and trying to hold on to something it's like the final letting go um 
<clears throat> so I'm seeing, I guess, you trying to stand up against everything and control everything on your own. It might be trying to look after all the family and things like that, but you just need to allow yourself to be taken care of as well here. Um, page or the cups. Um, so there is <clears throat> these messages coming into you here. Um, I, somebody is saying sorry for your loss. Um, I'm not even sure if I like want to post this. I always do this. Like I always feel like I'm not sure if I want to post a message because it's a general if it's a personal I ha would have no problem giving this message but because it's a general um, I don't really want to be you know freaking people out and things like that um, <clears throat> so I see here that some people may have challenges with like argumentative children and things like that having to walk away from them and leave them behind The High Priestess, to trust your intuition here. Trust your intuition um, when you're fighting a losing battle. Um, <clears throat> I guess you kind of know it already, the sun. So it's, it's, it kind of feels like it's going to get worse before it gets better. So just be aware of that. Three of Wands, because then you get this good news and good energy coming into you. Um, in June, probably because we're heading towards um, your season then. <clears throat> somebody does want to talk to you here. My throat chakra has been affected. So somebody just want to talk to you um, wants these messages. It can be that this, a breakdown of a relationship here is happening, a complete loss of a relationship. Uh, the Queen of Cups here again. So you will be completely fine. It's kind of like this disruption is going on around you. Um, so maybe not affecting you directly, but it is going on around you. So it affects you emotionally. Um, <clears throat> things do improve though. Um, and you get this release of energy where <clears throat> you feel good, you feel okay, and you feel happy and settled after that. So if you've gone through a breakup of a relationship and you want to be able to, um, you know, find the way through the hurt and the pain and the emotional loss, um, I feel like just trust yourself, trust your feelings, what you're feeling. Um, don't try to fight the feelings, allow them to flow out of you naturally here. Um, and everything will be as it's meant to be, Ace of Pentacles. Uh, so we then see um, this very firm offer or this large sum of money coming towards you here. And Two of Swords. Um, this is you being indecisive, Seven of Swords, because you don't know the full story. So behind this, when this offer comes into you, there's something else attached to this offer as well. It might be to do with work, uh, some sort of promotion, things like that. Ace of Cups, uh, don't mix business with pleasure. Um, <clears throat> but here you're in two minds whether to accept this offer, whether it be money or love, because we did have the Ace of Cups there last as well. So some here, I guess, are unsure because they know somebody's deceptive or they know they're being cheated out of something. Um, let's take a deeper look because there's some large sum of money coming towards you here, but somebody is trying to cheat you and your intuition is telling you that, look, I already had this happen. Now I've got this crap happening. So, you know, I guess the moon, the moon, um, so somebody is trying to deceive you here. Your instincts are correct. You know this person's keeping th things from you, stealing things from you, but it will, with the moon, be brought to light here. Um, the full moon is on the 26th of May. So 
this will be brought to light, but they definitely don't want it to be brought to light, okay? Two of Swords again. Two of Swords again. This person is going to an extreme to keep this, these things from you here, this information. King of, uh, Knight of Wands, sorry. So, although this person's coming towards you and showing that on the outside they're making an offer, I feel like your intuition tells you something isn't right and your intuition is spot on here. This person is lying to you, trying to deceive you. Um, there's something they're not telling you. It might be um, that they are also visiting somebody else. Four of Cups. Um, yeah, it might be that they are in a, another relationship with another person here. King of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> So when you find out that this person's in another relationship, um, this person will reject you. That's why they don't want you to find out this secret because it's like they don't want to let go of you because they want to have their cake and eat it. So I do think that you love this person with the Ace of Cups, but this person, Seven of Swords, the moon just be just be aware that they're hiding something from you here because it looks like you might end up single by the end of the month it seems there's a lot of disruption coming your way and a lot of emotional loss um but it looks like some people will be there to help you through this loss and confusion because we had the seven of cups here as well don't try and focus, say, on work and um, distract yourself from this emotional loss. Feel it. Transcend it. Work through it, okay? That In that way, you will ascend above this sort of lesson. Okay, guys? Good luck.